Hey guys, welcome to QT Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Jimin from his new Vibe music video with Young. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. With this drawing, I'll be erasing some lines, so I'd recommend drawing in a pencil first. Okay, I'm going to first start off by zooming in on the head. I'm going to start off by drawing the eyes. Let's draw two curves for the tops of the eyes. Then from the ends, let's bring it down with a small line. Then let's angle it up on both sides. And then a curve across the top. And now let's color these both in black. Next, above each eye, towards the inside, let's draw one more curve. Next, underneath, let's draw two circles. Now inside each circle in the top left, let's draw a small oval. And now in the center, let's draw a circle behind it. And then let's color the pupils in black. And lastly for the eyes, let's draw curves at the bottom. Next, let's move above the eyes and draw the eyebrows. Let's start with two curves. And then let's thicken up each of the eyebrows. Next, let's move down and draw the mouth with a curve up to the right slightly like this. Now let's add the shape of the face. Let's start on the left near the eyes here and draw an angle down. And the same on the right. Now let's curve these down to the center coming to a point. Next, let's move to the sides and draw the ears. Let's draw a curve on the left and on the right. Now inside, let's add one more curve at the top. And then at the bottom, let's add the earrings. Let's start with a small line inside and then two curves in towards the head. And then erase the overlapping line inside. Next, let's draw the hair. Let's start by drawing a guideline to help us with the forehead line. Let's start above the left ear and let's draw a curve up over to the right and back down to the other ear. Now that we have our guideline, let's add the hair next. Let's start on top of the line towards the left side and let's draw an S-shaped curve up and back down above the left eyebrow. Then let's bring it up, add another pointed piece of hair down and up 
and then another point to the ear and back up at the end. Now let's hop back up and work on the right side. Let's draw a curve up and back down and then up at the end. Then a curve down to the right and then an S-shaped curve down to the ear and back up. Next, let's erase any of the guidelines that is overlapping with the hair. When you're done, it should look like this. Next, underneath the hair part, let's add a few curved lines. And then above each ear, let's draw a triangle shape for the sideburns. And again, let's erase any of the overlapping lines inside here. Now let's move up where the hair part is and let's draw a line up with two points at the end. Then let's bring it up on the left, curving it down and out, and back up at the end. And now let's do the same thing to finish off the top right. And that's it for the head, let's move down and draw the body next. We'll start by drawing the neck with a line down and out on both sides. Now let's extend it out and curve it down for the shoulders. Next, let's add the sides of the jacket. Let's start with two curves down. Then from the shoulder line, a bent angle in and out. And now let's close off the bottom with diagonal lines. Now inside, let's add the collar of the jacket. Let's start with a pointed shape out and in on both sides. Then a large point above it. And now let's add four circles for buttons. Next, let's move inside at the top and draw a curve for the top of his t-shirt. And then underneath, let's add his necklaces. Let's move down and let's draw a circle here. and then curves on either side. Now let's add a second necklace below it. Let's start with angles down, and then a cross shape at the bottom. And now let's add one last necklace on top with two curves. Next, let's move down and draw the belt. At the bottom of the jacket here, let's draw two curves in between. Then a blocky C-shape for the belt buckle. Now on the right, let's draw two lines, and then two more, and the same on the left.
Next, let's move underneath the sides of the jacket and let's draw a small angle down on both sides. And now let's add the arms. From the shoulders, let's draw an angle down and then curve it back down like this. And then where the elbows are, let's draw two small angled lines. Then at the end, let's draw the sleeve. And then add a circular button inside. And that's it for his upper body. Let's move down and draw his pants next. Let's start in the center, let's move down and let's draw an angled line. And then from both sides, let's bring it up to the belt. Then underneath, let's draw a line down. Then from the bottom, let's draw a curve down to the right. And then for the left, a little bit lower and down. Now let's move and draw the sides of the pants. Let's bring it down on both sides, with the left side being a little bit shorter. Now from the right, let's angle it down and back up. And for the left, out, back in, and flick it up. Now underneath each leg, let's draw bent lines. and then a curve to close off each leg. Next, let's add some details to the pants. At the top, let's add two angles for the pockets. And now let's add some pockets on the sides. Let's draw a rectangle on both sides like this and then a longer one below it. And that's it for his pants. Let's move down and draw the boots next. Let's start by drawing the left boot. Underneath the left leg, let's draw a line down, curving it out and down like this. And then for the back, down, out and down. Now an S-shaped curve to connect them. Next, let's add the sole of the shoe. Let's draw a line down at the front and at the back. And then connect them with that same S-curve. Now let's add some details inside. In the top here, let's draw a curve down and then over to the heel. And now two vertical lines inside. Now on the left side, let's draw the laces with X shapes. Now let's move down inside the sole and draw small black triangles at the bottom. Now let's move over and draw the right boot. Let's draw a line down on both sides. Then underneath the left, let's draw a curve up, over, and down. And now let's connect them at the bottom with the curve. Next, let's add the sole underneath in the same way.
Next, let's add the details inside. In the top section, let's draw two long bent lines on the outside. And now let's add the laces in between. And lastly, the small black triangles at the bottom of the foot. And that's it for Jimin, now let's quickly color him in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!